Okay. So I am Siamdak Prasad. So currently working as a senior principal engineer at Tricon Infotech, Bangalore location. So I have 12 plus years of total experience, mostly in Java side. So Spring Boot and Apache Camel and this thing I have. And also like uh, I have four plus years of experience in Mulesoft. So I started with Mule 3, then took a break. Like I did not get uh, much project on the Mulesoft. Then I started again in Mule 4. So I'm a certified Mulesoft developer and architect. And recently I became a Mulesoft mentor and leader of uh, Patna group. And also like this month only, I got uh, like, I'm in the list of top contributor of Moons of Health Forum. So if you have any doubt or any, like in data, we mostly, you can reach out to me. And I'm also sharing uh, some data with concept over LinkedIn. So maybe you can follow it. You can search my name and you can follow me and you will get uh, some data with tips daily over LinkedIn. Yeah, that's about me. And yeah, so today agenda is like, uh, first we will go through like Sophify introduction, what it is, and then we will have a introduction of Sophify connector. Then we will have a demo on this one and we will set up a, a account also in Sophify and how we can do the setup for uh, Sophify connector, we will see. And then we will have a question and a session and then we will have a trivia quiz. So coming back to Shopify. So Shopify is a e-commerce platform. So Shopify is a platform for all e-commerce web store that sells good uh, online. And also it has lots of competitors. So in the market, you will see like big commerce, other uh, tools are also present there. Magento and other e-commerce web store are there. And also like it uh, allows you organize your product and you can customize your storefront. Like you can create a web store and which will accept the credit card payment and you can track that and respond to the orders also. So basically it will give you the features of uh, e-commerce uh, web store where you can add add item to the cart then you can buy that product uh, using Shopify and all this thing is done with a mouse click like just you have to follow few uh, easy steps and then uh, your Shopify front will be uh, like web store will be ready for use so we will see during this uh, our demo like uh, Shopify key features like why Shopify is popular these days. So they are providing some, some of the things like uh, they are providing some free and paid themes from the Shopify theme store, which you can use and you can customize your web store. And there are some free and paid apps also in the Shopify app store. So that will expand your the functionality of your store. Uh, for your growth and also like Shopify is also providing their own payment provider so like there are multiple options so you can configure the payment provider also like uh, Stripe, CyberSource, any uh, payment provider you can uh, configure that and that will accept the credit card payments and like uh, there are some opportunities like uh, with Shopify's chain channels uh, like uh, uh, Shopify is providing a few sales channels, so which we will discuss in further slides. And like also like uh, Shopify blog is there where you will find lots of article and this thing. And using that, you can easily like customize or connect your with customers. And also like uh, there are lots of experts and which uh, you can uh, get the help from for uh, setting up the a store and you can design that uh, web store and then you can start the marketing and also like there is a dedicated support team available 24 by 7 so uh, 
and it doesn't matter like which Shopify plan your store is on. So Shopify, like there are pricings, like uh, they have some plans. So maybe uh, we will have a further. Uh... So like how we can sell <laughs> through Shopify. So there are different ways of like uh, selling the product uh, using Shopify. So you can set up an online store, like uh, you can sell products online using an e-commerce website. So uh, building the e-commerce website, uh, Shopify, when do you register and create an account, that time one online store will be set up. And also like you can sell in point of sale, like you can sell the product in retail locations, pop-ups, like few pop-ups we are getting, like when we are visiting some blogs or anywhere. So we are getting some pop-ups also. So that pop-up also you can set up with Shopify. And then we have a buy button. So buy button feature is also like, uh, you can add that this button in any like blog or any website you can add it. And also like uh, there are sales channel also. You can sell the product in social media like Facebook and other social media also. And there are a couple of uh, marketplaces also where you can sell the product. Like uh, Shopify uptime, like 99.99% uh, 99 .99 uptime. And uh, like, uh, and this uh, like, Uptime calculation don't include downtime uh, attributed to like outages of third party services. So maybe in setting up the Shopify store, we are using some third party services that will not include. And these are the things like planned downtime or maintenance. So there, if there is a planned downtime or maintenance that we not considered as uptime. This And like uh, major or natural events outside of Shopify's control like uh, Shopify comes with different plan. So here you can see like uh, one plan is basic, then another is Shopify and another is like advanced. And then we have a starter plan also. Okay. And then we have an enterprise, enterprise plan also. That is $2,000 per month uh, USD. So here you can see like there are some in the basic plan, you can see like here, uh, the credit card rates uh, will be high, 2.9%. Uh, here, uh, there is slightly less. And here also, you can see like 2.4%. In the Shopify Plus, uh, this credit card rates will be uh, more or less. And also, there is a startup plan, like you can... Uh, huge dollar uh, one per month and this is only for few months after that uh, you have to choose go for basic shopify or advanced or starter or shopify plus so how you can start your business so first you have to build your brand like create a business name like shopify store name and the logo then you have to find the domain so that uh, user will not see that uh, Shopify URL. So you have to match that domain to your Shopify store. And also like you can explore some images and amplify your brand. Then you can build your store like uh, we will see during the demo. So I will go to the website. So here you can see uh, this is the website. Here you can see, and this is the pre-trial. And when you enter this one, so here you can see like start a free trial and enjoy three months of Shopify. It is showing, uh, I am in India. So it is showing like 20 rupees per month on select plans. And this is maybe uh, we have some ongoing offer. That's why it is uh, showing like 20 rupees per month for now. And also like just you have to provide the email address and just few follow up and then your store will be ready. And here you can see that try Shopify free for three days. So earlier it was seven days. 
like when I presented in the last meetup, and also like a few years back, the free trial period was ninety. Then they are reducing it to sixty, thirty. Uh, last time I've seen like seven. Now I can see like uh, this is reduced to three days. And also like when you are creating a free trial, just you have to uh, enter like email address, then uh, Shopify store, and obviously we have to uh, add a password also. And also like no credit card is required. Be by entering your email, uh, you can like you will receive some marketing email also from Shopify. And it has like, here you can see like, this is a card something. Uh, and it has customizable template and also like all in one, like everything in uh, like all in one that is available in Shopify, like card features, marketing features, payment features, all is available in one like, platform that is Shopify and also like a safe and efficient pro platform like millions of users uh, trust Shopify to manage their online stores not single billions of users and these are the some happy customers and something Shopify is better than any other platform we have played with and we have played with them all like when we are Evaluating any e-commerce platform, so as we have to go analyze, we have to create a free trial in all the e-commerce platform, and then uh, how it is easy to set up the mark uh, like e-commerce web store. So yeah, even like I have explored big big uh, commerce also that time. So here you can see like just we have to add email address, and then uh, we have to click on a start free trial. I'll be doing that one. First, like, you will see, like, what we can do, like, with Shopify. So you can do, like, uh, create and customize an online store. And you can sell in the multiple places, like, including web, mobile, social media, online marketplaces. And there are some pop-up shops. And you can manage the product. Like, you can add the product if, and you can manage the inventory, payment, and also like shipping, also you can manage with uh, Shopify. And how much does Shopify cost? So that depends on like, you can start with uh, Shopify with for free, uh, free for three days, no credit card required. And once your trial expires, then they will ask to choose uh, some pricing plan. So which is just I have shown uh, maybe after, uh, setting up i uh, will show that uh, pricing plan and can I, I use my own domain name with shopify so there will be some uh, like custom setting which uh, just you have to do the mapping and uh, then your domain name will be ready for use uh, shopify web store and this is the most important thing like do i need to be a designer or developer to use shopify that is answer is no. You don't need to be a designer or developer to use Shopify. Like after signing up, you will see that you, they will ask like choose the themes. There are free themes which you can use for your Shopify store. And like some features and functionality uh, which you need that that is available through apps. So there are lots of apps. In MuleSoft, we have MuleSoft connectors. So similarly, like in Shopify, we have apps okay let's set up a uh, so just you have to enter email i'm setting up then you have to click on start free trial so here you can see let's get started and each of this best describes you so uh, you can choose anything like i'm just starting or i'm already selling uh, online or in person so i'm just selecting i'm just starting then here you can see like where would you like to sell? So here you can see by default online store is selected and you can choose this one also. Any other. If you're not sure, you can skip also. So next we have to provide the store name. 
Well, I'm... I'm giving this name in a NYC Muli shop. So here you can see and uh, that is available. So this is a temporary URL and this URL which you can use. But later you have to map this URL to your domain name. <coughs> I'm selecting India. I already have a count, so I'm using that one. So this is building your store. So it will take few minutes and then your store will be ready to use. So here you can see like they are asking to pick a plan, enjoy three months of Shopify for, for 20, rupees 20 per month. And here they are showing some guide, just you have to add some product, then but brand assets, then you can customize theme, then you can add a custom domain. So once these uh, steps you follow, then uh, your online store will be ready to use. Also, you can see here, we have selected online store and that you can see also. Uh, we have to do some setting that is not enable. Uh, here you can see like something went wrong. So what happened? Shop has no theme. So we have not selected any theme. So that's why it is showing like this. And the URL will be like this. Let me select one theme also. So this is the theme which uh, like this is the your uh, shop name then you can add images also here you can add image banner and then these are the some example product title you can see so this thing you can do uh, customization and I'm not, I'm not going to go in more detail on this okay so I'm coming back to uh, our, uh, our store is ready for use. Uh, let me check if there is any question. There is no question. So I will continue with Shopify connector. So like uh, Shopify connector is like, uh, uh, as we have seen that uh, Shopify is a complete e-commerce platform where we can start and grow and manage a business and we can create a web store and we can add a product and then we can start selling that product in our. So <laughs> Shopify connector will like uh, enable users to integrate their applications with Shopify using the Elite Point platform and seamlessly architect flow or data between Shopify and their CRM. Like you can uh, sync data between Shopify and your CRM. Like if you are using a Salesforce, in Salesforce we have a product that can be synced to Shopify or from Shopify we can sync uh, that product to CRM, like uh, Salesforce. You can do like vice versa also so like common use case of shopify connector so there are three things like um, we can sync uh, new customers information when they place an order <laughs> through web store uh, we got some order we have to sync that customers information in our crm like salesforce or any other crm or maybe we, we have to store that information in our database. So when we are placing an order, so 
customer has to like user has to enter the address details also so that will be related to the customer's information which we can sync and also like a storing information when a new order is placed through a client shop is a file store so when we got a new order so that order information also we can uh, sync into our crm or database or you can manage the item when the new products are created in shopify so when you are manually creating a shop uh, product so that also you, you can sync in your database or salesforce so main majorly like there are three things one is customer then order and uh, uh, we have product so these three things uh, we can uh, sync uh, data between uh, shopify and another crm or database so shopify connector connection type so we can use either by basic auth so we have to provide some username and password for authentication and or we can go for oauth2 i think i have covered this one like uh, we can go with uh, this website shopify.in and then free trial and we will get a uh, three days of free trial and there will be no credit card will be required credit card so after your trial expires so you can you have to choose a plan so we have to provide like a admin api scope so internally like shopify connector is using a admin api shopify admin api that is rest api and we have to provide some api scopes like for customer we have to provide the right customer and read customer scope for orders we have to provide right orders and read orders and for product we have to provide this so basically we have to provide the read write scopes for a customer order and product so these are the three things which we can use uh, using the shopify connector so like in the customer side you can view and manage the customer you can get the customer address order history and customer group in order side you will see the orders transaction fulfillment and abandoned checkouts in the product side you will see product and variant and collections so yeah so we have like shopify admin rest api for connector like product api and uh, there is a customer api and product variant api and order api and transaction api so these are the five things which we can use uh, using the shopify connector uh, there are other admin api also available uh, for now we can use these things only and for order and transaction api uh, order and transaction api you have to select the basic plan uh, once basic plan is selected then you can place an order in the trial account if you have not added uh, like selected any basic plan like the basic plan so if you are selecting basic plan so you have to enter the credit card details so uh, maybe uh, if you are entering the credit card details and you are selecting the basic plans once the free trial expires please deactivate your account before the trial ends otherwise you will be charged monthly or yearly so if you are providing the credit card details make sure you can deactivate your account before the trial ends otherwise you will be charged like uh, according to your plan selected so i'm coming back to the demo and if there is any question there is one question uh, sham yeah. from gangula sparu when customer edited address is that sync back yes that will be synced back and uh, i will cover this during the demo uh, there is one api like uh, on new update or something uh, customer so any update or any new customer created that will 
we can listen it and then we can sync it. Yeah, no more questions, Shyam. We can proceed with okay. that. Okay. So here you can see like uh, uh, this is I'm. This is the online store which we have seen, and I think uh, I can see a slide only, Shyam. Now? No, not other screen. How about the rest of the participants? I can see uh, Shopify admin REST API for connector. That slide, Sham. Let me share my screen again. Yes, yeah, sure. Now? Yes, now I can see the Shopify screen. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yes. So like using a Shopify connector, so first you have to create a one apps so here you can see uh, there is you can go with the uh, app section and then uh, you can click on app and sales channel settings and here you can see uh, yeah so here you can see like build custom apps for unique needs so develop custom apps to integrate data or build a customer uh, storefront. So you have to click on this one, develop apps for your store. And then you have to click on allow custom app development. And you are about to allow custom app development on your store. So just you have to click on this one. And here you can see like, uh, we have to create a create an app like just like in mulesoft we have a connected app so similarly like uh, shopify is providing uh, you have to create one app and then you can use uh, 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 their credential to connect with uh, shopify just uh, you can give any name and then you can click on create app and here you can see, like uh, as I mentioned, we have to use uh, admin API scopes. So here you can see uh, configure, uh, you have to click on the configure admin API scopes. And we have to select three things. Uh, first one is like customer. So here you can see like uh, bad customer and dead customer. So I've selected two and then orders and then products so here you can see like uh, right products so here you can verify also uh, we have to select the customers orders and products and we have to give uh, both permission like right customer and and right and read operations for these customer orders and products Okay, and here you can see like uh, there is a paybook subscriptions and that is in every three months they are releasing a new version. So here you can see like 122, 4, 7, 10 and the next one is planned as 123. So every three months they are releasing a one version. Okay, then you can click on save. And then you can go with the uh, API credential. Okay, so here you can see uh, this is the API key. So this is the uh, username. And then you have to click on uh, like for the access token, like the actual password, you have to install this app. So here you can see uh, to protect your data, you will be only be reveal your admin API token once and copy and save your admin API access token in a secure place. So I'm not going to reveal now. So this will be the username and this will be the like uh, password. And here you can see the uh, Shopify shop name is NOIC Muli Shop. This is the Shopify store name. Okay, 
So let me go to the AnyPoint Studio. Even I have created a sample project, and that is available in uh, GitHub. So I will share that link. Uh, before going in that, I will create a mule project, and where we, uh, I will show you how to add the Shopify uh, connector. I have created a project, and just you have to go to the Add module, uh, search in Exchange, and then you can search for Shopify. And here you can see like uh, this is the Shopify connector. Just you have to select that one and click on finish. So so here you can see like Shopify connector, and here you can see. These are the operations that is related to the customer. So that's why we have create, uh, added, created one, uh, like uh, we have given admin API scopes as read and write operation on customer. So here you can see like customer count. You can create a customer from uh, using a Shopify connector. Then we have a get list. Then you can get the orders related to that customer. Customer search. Then uh, here you can see on new customers. So any new customer is created in Shopify that will be seen using this uh, uh, operation on new customer trigger, on new order trigger, on new product trigger. So any customer, any order or any product is created in Shopify store that will be uh, seen here. Also like there is on updated customer trigger. So when we're editing some customer address or customer information, that will also flow to our uh, uh, new applications. Even then we have some operations related to the order. Then there are some operation related to the product. Here you can see in the product, you can see like uh, there are product variant also like if you are buying t-shirt so there will be sizes so that will come as a product variant like middle size small size large size so that will come as product variant then we have transaction also okay so these are the operation which we can perform using a shopify connector and how we can so just I'm going into the like Shopify connector config. I'm clicking on OK. So here you can see uh, they are asking username, password, and then here you can see uh, shop name. So I mentioned that we have to copy this thing from this page like API credentials. So this is the username and this is the password and this is the uh, shop name okay and then after that you will click on this one so you will be able to uh, test the connections and there is a like another option also OAuth so you are here you have to provide the consumer key and consumer secret uh, I have not tried this one so maybe you can explore a little so for now, I'm going with uh, this detail, like basic auth connection provider. I'm closing this app. I'll be using the existing uh, application, which I have already created. And if you have any doubt, you can go into my blog. I've written a blog on Shopify connector also. So uh, you can search like samrajprasad.medium.com. So there I publish all the steps, like uh, how you can create. And here you can see like earlier, we are getting 14 days of trial of uh, Shopify. Then I've created this one. So all the steps are uh, mentioned here. So maybe later if you have to uh, develop uh, this application, so you can refer this article. So all the um, things are available here also, okay. And even like uh, at the end, you will see like uh, one GitHub link also. And here you can see uh, uh, Mule Shopify integration. Just you have to import it. And I've already imported. So here you can see like, uh, 
have added a few of the operation like customer count, customer create, and these are the things which I have created. But uh, just I will do like uh, I will create a customer in the Shopify uh, using this one. And orders I cannot use because I have not provided the credit card details. So I'll be skipping this one. Uh, product I will try. Transaction also I cannot try. And he, in this one, like new Shopify integration on new customer trigger. So here you can see if you go to this configuration, like uh, this is like fixed frequency. So you can either you can go with fixed frequency or you can set up a cron job and then you can listen it. So here you can see just I'm logging the payload and printing it. So I'll, I will not be using this one. Uh, uh, I will try customers, products. Okay. And also like before going into uh, much detail, I will go like here you can see like Shopify connector. That is version 1.1.7. And if you go like this is the Mule Force Shopify connector. And when we are developing a uh, custom connector or anything so you will see like uh, there are some operations then there will be like connection provider so that will be like here you can see like uh, one we have to use basic auth another is auth i am set up i have done the setup for the decompiler so if i am going to double click this one so here, here you can see Mm, the class file also so here you can see like they are using this url like shop so this one uh, we are going to provide uh, when we are doing the setup and here you can see like they are using this api admin api and here you can see the version like 1021 10 2021 and then you can see like shop.json so In operation, you will see like uh, in the customer, if you go either here, uh, customer count. So here you can see customer count operation dot class. Then customer create is also there. So here you can see customer create operation dot class is there. And it is internally using uh, one REST API. They are calling internally. So here you can see uh, this is the url and uh, they are using like rest request builder and after that uh, where uh, they are calling the rest api so i will show that one so when this one is done so yes so here you can see like uh, Shopify dot dev dot API. So they're providing like uh, Shopify API with admin API you can use. You can use storefront API, partner API, and payment apps API. But uh, Shopify connector is internally using admin API. If you go here and he, admin API supports two types, GraphQL also and REST. But uh, uh, Shopify connector is using REST. If you go inside, and here you can see, uh, let's uh, you can see lots of details are there, like customers. If you go to the customer, and here you can see, uh, this is the API details. And if you see here, so this is the curl command and this is the like post command and here you can see like this is the shop name okay and then after that they are passing some uh, like url uh, params will be like admin api 2022 then customer.json so you can validate this one so they are internally using this api so i will go and here you can see admin api then some version is there then they are calling like customer.json and here you can see like a method is post so shopify connector is built on uh, 
uh, this admin API and you can get all the details like request body and these things uh, from this uh, uh, link like Shopify dev API. Okay. Yeah, till now any doubt? No. I'm going slow or everything is clear. Okay, fine. So here you can see like uh, I've created one uh, applications and here you can see like in the application properties, uh, Shopify.shop, just you have to provide these details like shop name and then username and password. So for running this application, I click that one, I have to stop it. Yeah, so here you can see we have to pass this value so that you can pass in, uh, during the, uh, you have to go to the run configuration and go to the environment and then just you have to, this is the Shopify.shop. So my shop name is like this, NYC newly shop. Let me update it. Okay, then username, uh, username is this one. Let me copy this one. Okay, and then uh, we have to provide that. We have to reveal token once. So that will start with SHPAT. Okay, done. So here you can see I provided the, all the details. So uh, shop name, username and password. Then I'm going to run this one. So this project is also I have uh, synced with the uh, uh, GitHub account. So maybe you can everywhere you will see my name like Siamrat Prasad in GitHub account also. And this is the uh, project which I have created and just you have to clone the repo, update the credential in the application properties. So either you can provide uh, in the run configuration or you can just provide here if you are playing with the uh, Shopify connector and then you can run the application. And also like after that also, I have created one postman collection also. So you can use it that one also. So here you can see like for the customer, uh just you have to hit this one like local host 8081 and then it will give the uh, customer con so even for product and product variant i have not tried for order which i have to provide the credit card i don't want to take the risk so <laughs> i am fine like uh, it will be good to play with customer product and product variant then so here you can see like uh, our application is deployed. So I'm going in Postman. Uh, let me create a product first. So here you can see like uh, we are using like 8081 port and then products. So if you go here to create product, yeah, here. So here you can see like um, product create and if you check this configuration, so here you can see like I'm passing that Shopify connector config and in the body, just what we are getting in the body and just we are passing that information to the Shopify. So I'm going to create a uh, product and we will see if there is any product or not. So product is created and here you can see we got some ID also. Yes, now let me copy this one somewhere.
let me go to the product so here you can see like uh, one product is added and he, uh, here also you can see the pop up your trial just started and enjoy three months of Shopify for this one. You have to pick the plan. They will keep asking. Uh, okay, so here you can see, uh, maybe we can create another product and this time. So here you can see we got the different ID and we will see that. And let me refresh this one. Ah, yeah. Here you can see like in a NYC mule t shirt is created. And I've created a product, and then you, you can see we have created two uh, products till now. So if you hit this one. So here you can see we are getting count as two. Even like when you are creating a product, you got some ID. So you can retrieve that information also. So here you can see uh, we are getting the title. Uh, NOIC meal t-shirt. And even like you can update that uh, product also. So yeah. This is the ID and I'm going to just we have to replace that one and then I'm replacing that name as NYC Woody. So we are getting that uh, NYC Woody and you will see. Uh, let me refresh this one. So here you can see the updated name for that product. So in this way, like uh, you can uh, create a product, create a customer also. So we will see that customer one also. So here you can see like we are getting the all the product list. And here you can see like the first product ended here and the another product ended here. And also like there are lots of options like images you can provide and these things. And even we have uh, delete product also. Similarly, like here you can see like uh, we have a customer count at zero. So let me create a one customer. Let me add Niras. So here you can see like one customer is created and we will see that customer is created or not. So here you can see like uh, Neeraj Kumar is created and here you can see like there is zero orders associated with uh, this Neeraj Kumar. And even like you can get the customer details. So when we created this one, we got some ID. Even you can see when we select this one here also you can you are getting the same id in the 21 and we are going to get the customer yeah so the here also you can get the customer and for the orders when we are creating orders like first you have to choose the plan then you will be able to create an order okay and also like this. here also you can see uh, this is the uh, our store just you have to change the images and this thing and okay and here you can see the product also coming uh, NYC hoodie and we have not provided some price so it is showing at zero and then you can go and you can add to cart here you can see the one cart is added into your bucket. Then you can see the cart also. Then you can do the checkout. But uh, 
checkout is not available because we have not picked the, the plan. Yeah, and then you can edit your theme also. Yeah, I think I'm done with the demo part also. Uh, if anyone has... I think we have a few questions, uh, uh, Sham. You want to take them now or you want to take them in the end? We can take it. Uh, I, I'm done with the like demo part also. Okay. So how we can get all the customers from the Selfie 5. So here you can see like uh, there is a great customer list. So all the customer which is created in the Shopify, we will get with this API, like get customer list. Here you can see we have created only one customer. So we are getting one customer. If we create another customer, so we will get all the details using uh, this API, like customer list. Is there any other questions? So Bidan is asking, do you have any Postman collection in GitHub location? I think you have this. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. This one. We have one more question from Gangula Swaroop. Where we will use API consumer key in Shopify app? Like, uh, in so, like, uh, and uh, also one thing, more thing, which I have to showcase. There is one limitation uh, when we are using the Shopify admin API. So, okay. yeah, here you can see. So there is some rate limit is applied. So when we are creating one app, so there is a limitations uh, like 40 requests per app per store per minute. So one store. So when we create one app. We have created one app, so there is a limitation like 40 requests per minute. And if you are crossing this limit, then you will get this error like 4, 20, 4 to 9. That is too many requests. So is it for trial version only or for all the versions? Like say, all the version, yeah. So for Shopify, to... yeah, here you can see. Here you can see, like uh, if you are going with Shopify plus stores, then it will be doubled. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. So I think Rajiv also asked the same question. Okay. Clifton is asking one question. Will it add the Shopify customers automatically? Uh, no, we have to use that API. Mm -hmm. This admin API uh, we, in a new application, then we are able to add. Is there any, uh, Bharat is asking a question in Q&A board. Is there any specific payload structure for input customer or product? Oh yeah, we have the payload structure, right? That you showed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the Shopify dev and API. So in that section, you can go with customer and you will see all the payload structure there. Here you can see, even I copied from here only. And, and also, like, yeah, here you can see, like, all, for all the applications, like, all the all the API, you will see the uh, sample, curl command, Ruby command, or in Node.js or PHP. So you can use, mostly you can try with this one. So <clears throat> when we are using curl, so you have to provide the mm -hmm. X Shopify access token. That is which we have rebuilt once that you have to pass it here. Got it. Do we have more questions? So Harinath is asking one question. Uh, how are we going to use load balancing and all? Load balancing, I think... Uh, they, uh, Shopify will manage and also like when we are crossing that trade limit there is one more things like 
in each response we will get uh, like call limit like uh, for each minute we will get like we have crossed this much request one two three or four five six something like that Got so it. how how many requests client has made so it will show with that response got it any other questions <laughs> maybe you can go to the presentation again sham and uh, so we are done with the implementation demo so anyone if any questions uh, please feel free to put it in the chat or we can discuss them in the end also with sham if you want to talk to him uh, at the end of the presentation do we have any uh, further question i'll take it forward sham so uh, proceed to the next slide okay so